Hey, what's happening people? Welcome to the channel. I'm Tony Rosca and today we're going to go over a portrait session using the Godox uh, V1 uh, Pro and the Godox Nano Trigger. We're going to see how this system uh, works together, how easy it is to adjust uh, the light output on the fly and also we're going to check to see how uh, neutral is the light uh, of the Godox uh, V1 Pro. Also, we're going to use the Canon R5 with an uh, 85 1.2 lens. Any lens, we're going to work for a session like this, but you have to be on a wider side, you have anywhere from 1.2 to 2.8. I'm going to swap the 85 with a 70-200 2.8 lens, and you'll see that you don't see too much uh, difference. We are shooting in our location, and we don't want to modify the background. Or normally, I would have put a photo background or choose different angle to have a nicer, cleaner background for the photo shoot. But for the sake of this uh, tutorial, I'm just going to use whatever we have right now. And it's why I'm using a wide aperture lens, because I want to blur the background as much as I can. For this photo session, I'm using a 4x4 panel with a one-stop diffusion fabric on it. And uh, this creates a nice, uh, a very wide pool of light. I can pose my subject into all that area and they have the freedom to move around and uh, I don't have to be uh, too uh, precise with the light. Like when you use a small uh, soft box, you kind of like all the time you have to make sure that you know you aim in the correct direction. But with this setup, I have a larger area, a very nice diffuse light, very neutral uh, for the light output and also it'll give me the freedom to pause and I want to uh, swap a couple of people to see how fast we can do that and uh, how nice uh, the pictures will look. We're going to start set up in the flash. I, I'm setting up the flash in the middle of the diffusion uh, panel uh, and uh, I have it like maybe like three feet away. I want to have enough distance for the light to spread to fill the entire surface of the, the fabric, and this becomes a very super large uh, softbox on location. We're going to start in TTL, and we're going to make sure that we have a base exposure, and we're going to adjust the light intensity uh, on, uh, depending on what we get on the first shot. The settings on the camera, I have ISO 100, uh, uh, the aperture is f1.2, and I start with uh, 1 over 100 of a second as, uh, for my shutter speed. I want to uh, let the background bleed uh, through a little bit in the pictures to, to help, you know, having a nice uh, background, and we're going to start taking some uh, test shots. We're going to take a couple of shots to see how uh, everything works together. With the, I think the exposure right now is too hot. I'm going to move from uh, TTL to manual. I see the output on the flash is uh, uh, 132 power and uh, 3 thirds. I think I have to lower it a little bit more. I might go with 64 and uh, 7 tenths to see how it looks. Oh, and I think right now we are right uh, in the money. You can see it's a nice exposure on uh, Eric's face with our trooper again today. Uh, we're going to change the poison, but I'm looking to make sure that the skin doesn't burn out. What I uh, noticed, I was hoping this uh, blue light in the background to wash uh, over across all the, the back wall, but uh, it didn't happen and I don't like this uh, color what I see, you know, uh, in the background. We ask Eric to pose with the guitar, and I will explain why. I am looking again at the background, I really don't like it, and uh, the only way to make it work, I have to put another uh, light in the, for the background, will not affect the exposure on uh, Eric's face, but we'll, I'm gonna put the light with a teal gel, this way I can have uh, a nice, uh, a tail color in the background will help me with my next step. In order to change that uh, color or the drapes in the background, I'm going to use an AD100 flash and uh, I'm going to use a, a teal gel from Profoto. As you know, guys, this uh, the accessories, the magnetic accessories from uh, Profoto work on uh, Godax, and I really like the gel. I like the quality and the, the color output uh, they have. I'm going to turn this flash on and uh, I will just put it behind Eric to make sure it hits the background. In order to add the AD100, I just uh, go to, to the settings. I'm gonna, right now, my um, Godox 1V Pro is the A group. I'm gonna choose another group. 
my uh, Godox AD100 is in a group B. I activate this. Now we're gonna have both flashes uh, showing on the, um, on the screen. I'm gonna take a test shot. And I think the, I think it's a little bit uh, too, too hot. I'm gonna cut a little bit more. And I think this will work. I think the exposure is very good uh, for a startup and also if you pay attention, I use uh, a very old trick uh, with a 60, 30, 10 uh, percentage uh, color scheme. I have the background is 60%, you know, a teal color. The red of the guitar and the red of the jacket is red. We're going to be my 30% and the 10% uh, is for the face and grip. This formula works great in any uh, situation. Having this uh, three color, you reduce the, the number of color in the picture and it's more uh, pleasant and also, you know, it give a little bit more uh, organized look to your image. I have Eric position at the end of the panel. I use the same uh, trick when you use a sub box. I'm having the flash in the middle of the panel and it's shooting along the, the main, the light is coming in front of him and I just feather the light to his face to have a nice and diffuse light on his face with a nice transition. Now we're gonna start taking some pictures with Eric. We're gonna bring Lydia and Leo, you know, in the, in the scheme. We're gonna have uh, at least three, four people, you know, moving in, uh, in this setup to see how nice and easy uh, to take the uh, pictures just using one Godax V1. Uh, I'm triggering it with the Godax um, uh, Nano Trigger. The um, light output on the Godox V1 Pro, I think is very neutral. It doesn't have any tint in it. And for some reason, I think it has some uh, specularity in the light. It makes this picture pop, you know, it gives a nice brightness to the image. And I think a very good for the skin tones, as you can see, and uh, these pictures, they are uh, nice and bright. Also, the big size of the panel helps too. And uh, I think the whole setup, you know, is very uh, nice uh, lighting setup for any locations. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment below if you have any questions. Check out my channel for more lighting tutorials and gear review. Please like and subscribe. Keep taking that beautiful pictures and I'll see you next time.